Hello, so we've had a little bit of a chill in the room. The skies have actually cleared, so hopefully it's going to stay like this for tomorrow. It's 20 past five and we're booked into this Crooked Spoon at half past five. So we're just about to head in now to the Crooked Spoon. It's literally two minutes away from where our lodge is, is that what it's called is? Yeah, yeah. oh, shut the door, it's freezing. <laughs> so this is what it's like inside we're not quite sure what the menu is yet we've looked online but there was a bit of like different information oh they've got like colors there matilda look and different coloring pictures looks like they've got hey dougie teletubbies and unicorn from what's it called go jetters that's yeah. it isn't it um and like i said this is where you have breakfast in the morning as well so we'll see what you okay so this is the children's menu so this is 2023 crooked spoon at the alton towers resort hotel so this is a kids menu so they've got starters uh, they've got mains and they've got desserts it's um all just what um it's not like a set offer or anything each is individually priced um the mains it says come with a choice of baked beans or garden peas as well so you can swap anything for baked beans and garden peas of a choice on the kids menu so that is a the selection available on there then this is the main menu now there's not actually as much as i thought there was going to be on the main menu so they've literally got about they've got five snacks they've got um four things on the main menu side of things a fish and chips coming out at a whopping 19 pound 25 that is absolutely crazy then they've got a grill where the rump steak is 31 pounds they've got two salads and then on the back they do have some burgers and hot dogs but i don't think it's as good of a menu as what i thought i don't think mm. it's a lot of variety really mm. um you know there's like a cheeseburger a chicken burger oh two chicken burgers oh a cheeseburger a chicken burger a chicken and cheeseburger then a bean burger and two hot dogs and there's a couple of sides and there's a few different desserts but i mean eight pound 25 for dessert as well is quite pricey um so it's definitely not a cheap place to go i actually feel like maybe the roller coaster restaurant would have been nicer yeah. um but it would have meant going back into the park and walking Somewhere right over there so yeah we've never tried it before we don't know and the food might be delicious we don't know um so we're gonna have a try and then also i just noticed they've got here and um, they've actually got snacks i wonder how long it's open because they've got like cadbury chocolate bars pringles and tyrell's crisps <laughs> on the snack menu and they've got soft drinks hot drinks and um, they've got a wine list so they've got white wine red wine rosé sparkling and champagne and um, they've got oh my god they've actually got pineapple juice <laughs> we've got juices coke zero products oh they do cocktails as well oh they do passion fruit martini 10 pound 45 beer and lager they've got draft and bottles they've got mixers they've got rum whiskey tequila vodka and gin for spirits so we're gonna order our food and we'll let you know what we what we ordered and what we think when it okay so the food is here so this is my mushroom taglatelli i'm just trying to find the menu to tell you what it is so it was wild mushroom taglatelli so it's mixed mushrooms shallots and spinach and a brandy cream creme fraiche sauce it was 16 pound 50. i also got a side of garlic ciabatta slices so it was two slices of baked ciabatta roll topped with garlic butter they were four pound 40. Oh, so says two. Matilda got the kids chicken goujons with chips and baked beans at seven pound 70. and Anne got the crooked knot dog was it? Yes. so it's a toasted vegan brioche hot dog mm. roll a vegan bratwurst sausage, crispy onions, mild mustard, chunky chips, and vegan coleslaw. It's a bit underwhelming. Yeah, it is a vegan hot dog. No, no. Does <laughs> look pretty nice though. Mm. So we'll let you know how everything tastes. Okay, so we've just got the bill. So it's come to a total of forty-five pounds and sixty-eight pence. With the annual pass discount, you get 20% off, which is quite good, I think, 20% off. So it's made the to new total is £38.07. Um, so that was for three meals and three large Diet Cokes. Diet Cokes are £4 each as well. And the side of the garlic ciabatta bread. We've chosen not to have a dessert here um, because what we've done in our previous videos is we normally go to the gift shop and get like an ice cream or something. So I think that's what we're going to do. I think we're going to head out of here now, go for a little walk. The sun's just starting to set. 
Um, we might walk over to the Gilton Towers Hotel, get an ice cream, and then we'll have a little walk back. So we'll catch up with you in a minute and let you know what you thought of the food. And we've just come out of the Crooked Spoon. So with our 20% annual pass discount, it came to a total of £45.68p, which... <laughs> not too bad 45 pounds that because the drinks we got three large diet cokes at four pounds each then we each had a meal and we got the ciabatta slices as well um we've chosen not to go for a dessert because we're going to have a little walk over to the alton towers hotel um and we're gonna i think get a dessert from well not a dessert we're gonna get like an ice cream or something from over there but matilda wants to go on the park at the minute so we're having a little walk over to the stargazing pods this is the path we came down before so we're just having like the two minute walk where the stargazing pods are they've got a big park in the middle of it and um, they just have like one big park set in the middle whereas the little lodges like you saw before each section has like its own kind of um little park it is like a little like each thing's got like a different kind of little rope bridge one of them's got a little beam to cross and um, they're just kind of like i said little tiny areas left for kids to play on but matilda wanted to come to the big play area and this is where the big one is which is in front of the stargazing pods it's like a big climbing frame so you might have seen some of this before because we have done it in previous videos so like i said these are called the stargazing pods so they don't have toilets in them it is literally just a bed um i don't think i think on said they do have tvs um i'm just gonna say i don't want to go in somebody's that somebody's been in but you can tell that people aren't in these ones because it's all still made up so they're all locked but you can see so i can't see a tv in there so you can see they've got a single bed there a single bed there and then it's a what looks like a double bed at the back so you can sleep four people in here there is some little plug sockets either side of the rooms there sorry the, the um, bed then they have like posters on the ceiling for like stargazing and lights and things um so matilda's just gone over there onto the park so you can see that's what they look like and they're individual pods so i suppose the only good thing about that is that you know you would have a bit of privacy because it's like i said individual pods and they have like little telescopes here and picnic benches so i know when we've stayed last time at the alton towers hotel in the summer oh gosh this is a bit squelchy on here because there's no actual path to it which is a bit annoying um they had um hi, hi people were all sat out and stuff on i can see people were all sat out on these benches and they had like the doors of their little stargazing pods open and someone once had like music out in front of theirs and were sat out on the front um because there's not really any tables or anything for them to sit at it's literally just you have to find a bench and to sit at a bench and then sometimes that teepee there has like entertainment that's meant to be like the stargazing pod like hub so that's where there'd be entertainment there's a bar in there you can get drinks um, but we're just going to have a little chill here for now, you can just see the sunset. Okay, so this is the breakfast at the Crooked Spoon. So it's like they've got sausage, bacon, pancakes, boiled eggs, hash brown, grilled tomatoes, mushrooms, beans and fried eggs. So this is the hot option and then they do have some savoury items as well, which I'll go and have a look at for you right now. So this is a savoury option, so they've got mini pan au chocolat, mini croissant, they've got blueberry muffins and chocolate muffins, they've got Weetabix, cornflakes, oh they've got almond milk and soy milk, and they've got bran flakes, cocoa pops, rice krispies and frosties, they've got whole milk and semi-skinned milk, and it's just repeated again, and they've got um, natural yoghurt, fruits of the forest, so they've got tangerines, apples, bananas. They've got bowl of grapefruit, bowl of melon. They've got some peaches, um, fruits of the forest, and like I said, natural yogurt. So this is kind of all on the bar area. I kind of wanted to try some of this forest. Are oh, you putting it on your pancake? <laughs> so this is on the bar area. Then they've got two hot food stations. We've got one there and one over the other side. 
but it's extremely busy in here at the minute. It's literally heaving. There's people queuing out the door to get in and I can't really see any free tables. Um, but it's very, very busy. This is 25 to nine as well. So they have a machine here for juice as well. So they've got fresh orange juice and apple juice. And then he did say this was a coffee machine, but I can't see it working for some reason. I don't know how it works. I'll have to come back and have a look at that in a minute. Okay, so we do have on this side as well, they have white bloomer and um, seeded bloomer. They've got butter and things and the bread goes in there. Then they've got jam, marmalade, Nutella.